This is Van Jones. I'm a television host. I'm also an activist and a dad. And I'm very concerned about the country. We are at a turning point. We're either going to turn to each other or on each other. We need to acknowledge what we're trying to do here in the United States of America is very, very tough. It's hard. You got every kind of human being ever born in one country. As with all hard things, there comes a time when you got to redouble your efforts to listen to each other and make any kind of progress. All right, we're rehearsing sound. Everybody quiet on the set. That's when I decided to begin working with Elijah Allen Blitz on a series of virtual reality experiences designed to create true empathy by putting the viewer in somebody else's shoes. I've always been a fan of Marvel Comics and I felt like it was important to find superheroes who want to do good in real life. For our first episode, we partnered with Winston Duke from the film Black Panther. The episode puts you in the shoes of a 12-year-old African-American boy in the car with your dad, pulled over and harassed by the police. I'm more interested in, in white America seeing it. We wanted to make this available to as many people as possible. I was a beach cop down in Delaware, uh, so I, I got the police officer's perspective. Whenever we hear a story like this happens in the news, it's easy to say, you know, at least from my perspective, safety first. Really gives you a really new perspective of sitting in that sea as a kid, watching dad getting pulled out, and you don't know what's gonna happen next. Now we used first ever hand tracking technology that puts the viewer in the body of the person they might initially felt like they got nothing in common with. What these people were experiencing in three and a half minutes, you could argue about for three and a half days. It's kind of shocking to see with your own eyes. And a feel. Yes, exactly. Yeah. For the second episode, we decided to focus on sexual harassment. And to do that, we partnered with Captain Marvel herself, Brie Larson. I wanted to focus specifically on the restaurant industry as a way of insight into a larger systemic issue of power imbalances. Being able to participate in putting someone in that experience of seeing how even microaggressions can be really impactful, hurtful, and traumatizing to others, I think will help us to create safer, fair work environments for everyone. We do have other episodes with other Marvel superheroes already lined up. Just a few decades ago, what we do every single day was considered impossible. But here we are, a miracle in human history, and we need tools to help us come together. We're always told, like, live in someone else's shoes. There's a difference between living in someone else's shoes and seeing through someone else's eyes. Thank you for your consideration.